is very important to understand who our adversary the devil is, and what he is able to do. We must be careful not to attribute to him abilities and honors, that belong to God and him alone. The Bible says the following about the limitations of the devil. Though he would like people to think so, he is not the opposite of God. God is all-powerful, everywhere present, and all-knowing. Satan is none of these. He does not have unlimited power, he cannot be everywhere at once, and he does not know everything. He is a created, limited being. He depends upon God for his existence. When Satan approached God, he did not come as an equal, but rather as a subordinate. One day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. Satan was unable to tempt Jesus without the permission of the Holy Spirit. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He also could not tempt Job without God's permission. The Lord said to Satan, Very well then, everything he has is in your power. But on the man himself do not lay a finger. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. When it came to influencing nature, Satan was not able to do it without God's permission. The Lord said to Satan, Very well then, everything he has is in your power. But on the man himself do not lay a finger. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. While he was still speaking, another messenger came and said, The fire of God fell from the heavens and burned up the sheep and the servants, and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. When suddenly a mighty wind swept in from the desert and struck the four corners of the house, it collapsed on them, and they are dead and I am the only one who's escaped to tell you. When Satan wanted to physically harm Job, he had to first ask God's permission. And the Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, From roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There's no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright a man who fears God and shuns evil, and he still maintains his integrity, though you incited me against him to ruin him without any reason. Skin for skin, Satan replied. A man will give all he has for his own life, but now stretch out your hand and strike his flesh and bones, and he will surely curse you to your face. Satan cannot take a human life without first getting God's permission. The Lord said to Satan, very well then, he is in your hands, but you must spare his life. The Bible does say that Satan has the power of death. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is the devil. However this does not mean that he has the ultimate authority to cause people to die, only God has that authority. Satan cannot even touch a believer without the permission of God. Satan complained to the Lord about this. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands, so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. God has placed a fence around each believer protecting them from the devil. We know that anyone born of God does not continue to sin. The one who was born of God keeps them safe, and the evil one cannot harm them. We also discover that Satan cannot even mention the name of Job until God allows him to do so. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. And he still maintains his integrity though you incited me against him to ruin him without any reason. In addition, Satan has no power, unless it be granted him by God. Those who have trusted in Jesus Christ have been freed from the authority of the devil. God said, To open their eyes, and turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan to God, so that they may receive forgiveness of sins, and a place among those who are sanctified, by faith in me. Satan, therefore, has no authority over the believer. Because he is a created being, 
Satan cannot read our thoughts. He is not all-knowing like the Lord. It is God alone that knows everything including our thoughts. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Then hear from heaven, your dwelling place. Forgive and act. Deal with everyone according to all they do, since you know their hearts, for you alone know every human heart. The Lord knows all human plans. He knows that they are futile. Jesus, who is the Lord, also knew people's thoughts. Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your hearts? The lack of being able to know our thoughts is another limitation in the character of Satan. Only God knows what is going to occur in the future. The former things, those of long ago, I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. Neither Satan, angels, or demons know what will happen next. Only someone speaking through the power of God can know what people dream. Daniel replied, No wise man, enchanter, magician, or diviner can explain to the king the mystery he has asked about. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. He has shown King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in days to come. Your dream and the visions that passed through your mind as you were lying in bed are these. Satan has no such power. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Scripture says that believers are ultimately victorious. Yeah. But thanks be to God, who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession, and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. Without God's permission, Satan is not able to do anything. He cannot create or search the human heart. Therefore the conflict between God and Satan is not really a struggle between two great equal and opposing powers with the outcome still in doubt. All power and authority belongs to God and him alone.